Hi, it's Melissa and welcome back to my channel. Today I am going to be making a scrapbook layout for you and I'm gonna be using the Hello Darling Scrapbooking Workshop Kit. Now the workshop comes with a lot of pieces and it comes with a nice um, colored guide that you can follow the directions or you can do your own thing. And I'm gonna be doing my own thing today, but I wanted to show you what all comes in the kit. So the first thing is this uh, sticker sheet. And you can see here it has some nice word titles. It's got some um, word stickers. It's got some nice flowers. I love this one. It's all red, white, and blue. And then you get this, you get the pattern paper. So you get the fun stars. And then plaid. I love plaid. And then these fun bursts. And then you get some stripes and then this beautiful floral print. And then this one that kind of looks like fireworks maybe. And then in the workshop kit, you get three exclusive pattern paper sheets. So that's why it's kind of nice to get the, the workshop because you get the extra bonus pages. So these two um, are alike. You get these in the bonus. These are the bonus papers. And then you also, you get this nice one. And then the cardstock that comes in the kit, you get these two sheets of sapphire. And what's nice about Close to My Heart's cardstock is that it's two, two tones. So it's like getting two sheets in one because you get the light and then the dark. One side's light and one side's dark. So you get sapphire. And then we have the one sheet of candy apple. And then you get three sheets of the white daisy. And then you also get these exclusive die cut sheets so you can punch these out um, there's a nice frame here uh, you could punch these stars out there's lots of stars here's some more stars here and then we've got some punch outs here with some more titles hello cutie pie simply the best and then these are always fun we've got some little banners and then yeah, this is the guide so if you wanted to you could use these color instructions and you could follow this and make three layouts, which I really love this layout. I think I, I, I'm gonna do that one. And these are all really nice, but sometimes I like to use these and then just use it as a jumping off point. But I'm actually gonna just really jump off and do my own thing. So let me get this cleaned up and we will get started. I'm also gonna be using the following stamp set. So I have the Hello Darling scrapbooking set. And this also, anything with the, like the little green tint, that has a matching thin cut. So the thin cuts come on their own magnetic sheet already in the envelope and it's all ready to go. So I'm using this one and then I'm also gonna bring in this Anthem alphabet. It's really nice, it's got these banners here with the alphabet. I'm gonna bring in these doodled florals and then of course, my all time favorite here, this is called the Tags and Tabs Thin Cuts. I wanna start by making some embellishments for the page. So let's make some flowers using the Hello Darling scrapbooking stamp set. So first I'm gonna start by bringing in the first floral and I'm gonna go ahead and place the foam underneath my page. And I like to use this Finesse by Spectrum Noir. It is an alcohol proof dye ink. It doesn't smear and I think it's a really good crisp image. Um, and that's, I usually like to use this in case I wanna uh, color with my alcohol markers. I don't in this case but um, I do want to go ahead and just stamp a few of these out. So let me get a couple of these done. Okay. And then next I want to bring in the next layering piece. So on the stamp set, it is this one. And the reason that I want to do that is because that I'm going to stamp in the Bluebird. 
So let me go ahead and ink that up in the Bluebird. Now for this one, this little, this little piece in the middle, uh, it is kind of tricky, um, but once you get it lined up, you just line up that middle piece. I may have to turn this a few times just to line it up, but once we get it lined up, it'll be okay. So this will line up. You just line up that center piece. So I'm gonna line that up and stamp down. I was a little bit off there. That's okay, I'm gonna stamp a few of these. Trying not to get my head in the picture here. And then, let's see if I can do this one a little bit better in the image. that one. Okay. And then the next thing that I want to do is bring in the larger stamp set, the full one. Okay. So for that one, I'm going to go ahead and put it on here. I'm going to go ahead and get it inked up. Twist, twist, tap, tap. Now for this one, I'm going to go ahead and stamp off on a piece of scratch paper I have over here on the side. And then I'm going to turn it until I have it lined up. And then you may need to turn it a few times so that you can get it lined up with your stamp. There is definitely a right way to do it. It may take you a couple times. Okay, once you get that lined up, just give it a good press. Okay, and then I'm gonna do the same thing, stamp off, and then get this one lined up here. Oh, I got this one perfect. There we go stamp off. And so I'll go ahead and finish getting these stamped up off camera. And then I'm going to use the thin cuts and we'll be ready to start embellishing our page. All right, I did go ahead and get these flowers die cut. And then I am using the, the doodle florals. And I have some leaves and I want to show you how I watercolor these. So I just take the top of the, I just take the ink pad and I squeeze it, give it a little press and then I open it up and then I'm just going to pick up some of the ink with my water brush and then I'm just going to pull a little bit of that in. I'm not even squeezing in the barrel if you wanted to get a little more watercolor look. You could squeeze a little bit of water into the barrel. Um, I just kind of like this look. It's just not real neat and it's super fast. And this is all there is to it. I can go back. And I also stamp these in that Spectrum Noir ink. Now, if you get a lot of water on it, the, the ink may bleed. Um, so you just got to be careful of how much uh, water that you that you use. So that's that's it for those. So let's go ahead and get this cleaned up and let's make a page. These are the pictures that I want to scrapbook today, and this was from Memorial Day weekend. And my boyfriend Dale and I had the best time. We uh, we went on a picnic and. It was kind of fun. Um, I had gotten a new cooler that we were using as a gift um, from my 20th work anniversary. And it was a fancy one. And so we packed it up and, and we found this park. And 
we swore when we pulled into the park that it was going to cost because it was the fanciest park that we'd ever been to. Um, it had horses and um, a walking trail. It was just, it wasn't used to what, we weren't used to that. Um, it was really nice. So this is a picture of us um, sitting at the table. And then they had this really cool piece of old wood there that we thought was nice. Um, so we just wanted to remember that. So I have a picture of that. It was meaningful to us. And then here's a look at the, like this was a view from our picnic table and you can see there's the hor the barn there that had the horses and there's a little playground off to the side. So, I mean, it was really nice. So anyway, these are our pictures and I, I kind of have an idea of what I want to do. Um, I am working a little bit off of the sketch. So let me bring in a sketch. Um, here's the sketch. Uh, this was a free sketch. It was designed by Allison Davis. And so I will link it below. It is from Scrapbook Generation. I'm going to follow this loosely, but I am going to just start use it as a jumping off point. Um, and then I do, uh, I am going to change it up because I have my own ideas with it. Um, I did go ahead and cut out a star on my Cricut. With it being Memorial Day, I thought it would be fun uh, to bring in the star and with the paper being red, white, and blue, it just kind of all goes with the theme. So let me move this out of the way and let's get started. All right, the first thing I'm gonna do here is bring in my Versamat. It allows me to line everything up. And then I am gonna start with a piece of sapphire cardstock and I am using the light side. So I like to use some of these removable glue dots. And I just like to put a couple down just to hold my cardstock into place. So let me get this lined up here. Okay. And then I have a white cardstock that I have trimmed down to 11 and a half by 11 and a half. So let me get that glued down. Then I kind of have an idea of where I want my photo placements. I do want them, I'm gonna want this star in the background and I know I'm gonna want this picture in the middle and then I'm gonna want these pictures on the side. So before I start bringing things in, uh, the first thing I wanna do is do some ink splattering. So I do have my sapphire ink and I have a water brush. To protect my surface, I'm gonna go ahead and remove my photos. And underneath my surface, I'm just gonna go ahead and bring in my all-purpose mat, just so I don't get ink splattered everywhere. And I'm gonna push down in the center of my ink just to get a little ink up in the up in the corner or up on the ink pad. And I'm gonna squeeze a little bit of water into the ink pad. And I'm just gonna swirl it around. And then I'm just gonna find something here to just make a few splatters. And I want a few up here in this corner. I don't wanna go like super crazy because this is dark. Okay, that's pretty good. And then I know I'm gonna want some over here. And then I think I'm gonna want some down here. I think that's good. Okay. And then I like to take my baby wipe and just wipe out the ink pad just a little bit, just so I don't have all that splattered water. Okay, the next thing I'm gonna do is I went ahead and cut some strips, and these are three quarters of an inch, and I just cut a few of these, and I'm gonna start gluing these down. And if you remember, and I did go ahead and ink the edges, but if you remember back to my sketch, they had some strips. So I'm gonna line this up. I know I'm gonna want one at about the six inch mark. And then I'm gonna put these on on the sides. 
fairly close and they don't have to be perfectly even. I've cut them some just different lengths. Just not paying attention to the exact measurements, but just varying them slightly. Oops. I think I got that one a little crooked. There we go. And then let's bring in another one. And I think I want one more. adhered. Oh my, what did I do here? Okay, and then next I'm going to bring in that star and I'm going to want that star like about like that. Perfect. And all I did on this is I just went to Cricut and just got a free star shape. And then I just added an outline to it. So this was really easy. So we'll add the star. Okay. And then let's go ahead and bring in our pictures. And I know I want the center one to, to be the focus, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna just lightly put down these others. And I'd like to be able to see the um, to see the sides of the star so you can tell that it's a star without covering it all the way up. Oh, I said I was gonna lightly tack that down. Whoops. I mean, this park really was unbelievable. I still can't believe it didn't cost to go there. <laughs> ah. So fun. Perfect. Oh, maybe we'll get those adhered down. Okay, so we've got our pictures down. And now we can start the fun embellishing. So off camera, I did some stamping. So remember the doodled florals? I did some water coloring and I did one of the red florals. So that was the big one. And then I showed you that I used the Hello Darling scrapbooking stamp. So I did make up some of these. And what I like to do is just make up a whole tray of embellishments. So that way I can do the fun part and that's play. And so um, for this one, um, the first thing I did was I did the outline stamp with the black and then I did the this um, centerpiece, which is like the darker color. That one I just regularly stamped down, so first generation. And then what I did, this larger, like filled in part, I did second generation. And for that, you just stamp um, off on a piece of scratch paper and then stamp on your image. And so it is a little tricky to get these lined up, but once you line them up, I think they look perfect. So I really like these. At first I thought I would use more on the sticker sheet but I really like the look of making my own flowers. So I think I wanna do just, just my own florals like this. Um, and then I have some leaves. Now this is from the, the doodled florals. I just really like the look of that. And I've watercolored that with um, some sage green. Uh, so 
And here is a pocket, I took one of the pocket cards and I've used a circle punch and I've cut that out. And since we were having a picnic, I thought it'd be fun to maybe bring this embellishment over and make a little picnic here. And so I wanna, I wanna have um, another cluster up here. So I went ahead and I actually used the pocket card. This looks just like that specialty paper though. And I went ahead and cut, cut this out. So I can have a little embellishment cluster up here. Let me see, and I didn't cut the tag all the way through because I don't need all of it, but I thought those would look cute maybe up there. And then I've got some more florals here. So I can just make this little floral cluster with these flowers. Now this is again from the doodled florals. I mean, this is just really coming together pretty quickly. Uh, let's see what else I have. Then I have, okay, so I use the Anthem Alphabet. And I went ahead and, oops. I went ahead and made myself a little banner and I did emboss it with some glitter embossing powder that I have. I thought originally white, but then I didn't really want that starkness of the white. So I'm gonna, I need to get some glue dots out here, but I think that I wanna do this maybe underneath here and this like right here with some glue dots and just make that little like, you know, like it's a banner. See how that looks. And then I went ahead and cut some bows. So we've got a few bows that we can put on the end. So that'll be cute. And then these are from the sticker sheet. And I've got Life is a Picnic with you and let's see what else I have here I could even add another flower up here and maybe pop dot that up just to make that floral cluster a little larger add another green greenery and let's see maybe another greenery down here oh, I'm loving this Okay, well, let me get this glued down. You don't need to watch me glue this down and I'll be right back. Okay, I have all of those pieces glued down. I did put a little foam on the back of the picnic basket there. And I did put a little foam on the back of that. Let me move this out of the way. So I think I'm done with the splatters. And then I did find this little um, lantern on the sticker sheet and you can't really see it in the picture, but there were some really cool lanterns on the building. And I really think that this, this picnic banner is just kind of floating out here. So if I bring this, this little lantern in, I think, and I have a little foam on there, I think that that'll just tie that in. So, I've got that on there and let's see if I have any other stickers that I can use maybe from the sticker sheet. I really like these little flowers, but I don't know that I want to get too much going. I guess I'll use that one. I, I kind of like that. Let me get a little I've removed most of the sticky off of these get a little bit of that just to bring in a little more of that color and then I do like to repeat the elements so since I used that up in the top floral cluster let me bring in some of that down here and I can just have it peeking out so that brings that down and I like there was a, uh, a bow sticker 
Let me see if I can find it. I think it might be cute, but it might be too big. I was trying to see how to incorporate this bow and I just don't think it's gonna, ooh, that's not, I need to get a little more adhesive going here. Get that little baby tucked down. There we go. Life is a picnic with you. I need the date. Let me grab my date stamp. Okay, I do have out my date stamp. This is my favorite date stamp to use. And this is called, it's just called the date stamp. How nice is that? And I use this almost all the time. I don't know if it's still available. If it is, I will link it below. And I wanna stamp it on one of these tabs. And so what I'm gonna do is just thumb through some of these pocket cards to see if there's something that I can cut one of these tabs with. So let me get these tabs out. Oh look, I have a tab in there. Sometimes I just cut some extras, but I really think that this tab, this decorative one might look really nice, just kind of off the side of the layout. There's not a lot of room. And so I think I got something sticky on the back of my layout. Here we go. I didn't get one of the glue dots off. Okay, so let me just thumb through these pocket cards really quick and just see if there's something that I can use. Like I just need a little piece, so that's, that that could work. I don't want something really dark. I think that that's too dark. That's definitely too dark. Too dark. Um, I think that could work. And I use this pattern already. I really like that. I think, and then that would draw that to the other side of the layout. I think I'm gonna go with this. Let me just flip through these to make sure there isn't anything else that I would rather use. And you could also see some of these pocket cards. Now I've used some others on a layout. Look at this. That looks like notebook paper. Ooh, I really like that. I could even add some some journaling. So I might I might keep that out. And remember this. And what's nice is one side it goes portrait and then or portrait and then the other is landscape. So these are really cool. And then home sweet home. I'm gonna use this. So let me get that cut out. Okay, I do have that cut out, and what is really nice is that my all purpose mat, I can flip it over and it's great for stamping. So I'm going to go ahead and stamp the date. And that was May of 2023. So I think I just wanna stamp May. Put that on my block here. Just ink that up. I want May. Oh. I guess that's okay. I think I stamped it right where there's a flower. So that probably, I should have probably stamped it over a little further where there wasn't a flower, but, um, and then I'm gonna go ahead and stamp 2023 because I have a lot of room. Um, you wouldn't necessarily have to do that. I could have just stamped May. 23, but I'm going to do 20, and then, these are so tiny, I just love this stamp, but it has some word sentiments on it, like some phrases, I mean, so you can say like, best day ever, happening, love, today, remember, some cool things and 23 perfect 
I do like to ink the edges up. So I have my dauber and I have inked the edges on everything else off camera, but I thought I would just show you how I do that. There we go. And now, and then I store all of my little dauber pieces in these little baggies and I, each of them have their own little, um, name on there. So I'm going to flip this back over, bring my layout back into frame and let's go ahead and put a little glue on here, a little tape runner. And, whoops, I think I got that, I think I got that a little too far down. You can't, can't see it. There we go. I think we'll call that done. So let me bring this up so you can see all the beautiful details and the stamping and then the picnic banner. So thank you so much for watching. If you're not a subscriber, I'd really appreciate if you like it, subscribe for more crafting videos. Thank you.